hope you enjoyed that intro. I know it's a little bit different, but did you know that I am really into dressing up? But I'm not wearing my sneakers, my booty shorts, and my tank tops. I am always dressed kinda like this. Guess what, guys? We are so getting back to the 90s right now. It is blowing my mind. We were doing those like chokers, chunky heels, platforms. It's all going back into style, and it literally is so crazy because fashion really recycles itself. I don't know, every 15 to 20 years. It is almost fall, and that means the pumpkins are coming in, the squashes, the pumpkin lattes at Starbucks, and you're getting a little bit more cozy. I know that a lot of you are feeling like, oh my goodness, I don't wanna work out anymore. It's like sweater season. No one's gonna see my bond. It's not bikini season anymore. No, it is not about that. So I'm here to show you how to have fun while working out. It is not about that six pack or that badongadong booty, though that's nice and you'll get it anyway if you're having a good time working out and eating right. Because I don't want this to be like a chore for you. I want this to be a lifestyle. So today I'm gonna show you three new fall inspired recipes and a really cool new tool that I'm using called the spiralizer in which you can make zoodles, which are zucchini noodles. OMG, it tastes so good, completely raw vegan, and I know you're absolutely going to love it. Now if you're ready guys, give this video a like and let's get started. Shoo. We are starting out with the base or batter for our French toast. I want you to crack one egg, add in half a cup of almond milk or whatever milk you would like, and of course, because it's fall, some canned pumpkin. It's going to give your French toast that amazing glowy orange color like you just went to the tanning salon. Just kidding. Um, not if you go to a good one. You're going to mix it all the way up nice and smooth, and of course you want it to be a little bit sweet, so add in some stevia a dash of cinnamon to bring those fall flavors into play. And now we grab our two Ezekiel breads and we're gonna let them bathe, like uh, in a hot tub of pumpkin sauce. Yeah, get it good. Now spray your pan on medium low and place your toast on. Look at them bubble. Ooh, that crispiness is literally life. Can you see that smoke? Oh, I cannot wait to eat this right now. We're gonna have to wait till the end. Okay, so you're gonna place this onto your plate and in a nice diagonal position, just like we do in those magazines. And look how cute this little bottle of maple syrup is. Put that all over. Because it's looking a little uh, plain, I'm gonna cut up some apples to decorate it with. And I'm going to dash just a bit of cinnamon on top. Look at those macros. For all my beautiful vegans out there, I have created a raw vegan pasta recipe for you. So rejoice. First, I'm gonna show you how to make the avocado pesto sauce. This sauce is incredible. For the amount of ingredients it has, wow, it really packs a bang with the taste. So one avocado, as you saw, a squeeze of lemon, make sure you get all the good in there, a dash of pepper, and also some stevia for sweetness, and of course, just as to how you feel it should taste, a cup of water so that can actually blend, and eight basil leaves. If you like more, cool, you can do nine, 10, 12, doesn't matter, I chose eight. Now you're gonna twist on that cap and give it a blend. Now just wait until we get to smell this. But for now, let's make our zucchini noodles. This is called a spiralizer. You need to get one. It is pointy on one end to hold my zucchini. And then you push it into the other end. Ouch, this would hurt if I were a zucchini. And then you just start twirling the stick. And look at those curly cues coming out. Are they not beautiful? It gives you also very nice arm workout. Look how they fall gracefully to the serving platter. Look how long it is. It's like one whole strip. And then this weird little thing comes out. I don't know what you do with it, but it just made me laugh. <laughs> so here are the noodles. Let's grab that sauce and pour half of it on top because the recipe for the sauce gives you two servings that you can save for later. Decorate with your precious cherry tomatoes and add a little bit of pine nuts on top for crunch. And that's it guys, look at that. 
impress some people with this recipe, please. Why, hello, pretty apple. I'm going to cut you into tiny little pieces for later. We're gonna grab some butter lettuce and butternut squash. To make these, just saute in your pan with salt and pepper for 15 minutes, and that's it. Now, the ingredients. One side will be lined up with dried cranberries, and then we have our Fuji apples, the beautiful butternut squash in the center, with some goat cheese on the side, some pecans right there, and finally, two turkey bacon slices. Add some of this Trader Joe's cranberry gorgonzola sauce on top for the perfect last touch. We finished and I did not try a single bite of the food that I made while we were making this video, so I'm really hungry. So let's start with the French toast. Oh, I smell the cinnamon, the pumpkin. It smells like fall. If fall could be put in a bottle sold as perfume, this would be it. Okay, you guys ready? Mmm, that is so... So good. Part of it was actually like more matter on top with like the pumpkin and the egg and everything mixed in. That is the good stuff. Zoodles! I am so excited because I did actually take a little taste of this sauce and it is to die for. And can you believe this whole thing is completely raw vegan? Wowzers! Mmm! Oh. Um. Yeah! This is so good. The sauce is so creamy. It tastes like Alfredo pesto something sauce. It is like so fatty and good. And then you get this crunch that's not too flavorful from the zucchini. It just tastes really carby like a noodle, but even fresher and slightly crunchy. Guys, this is amazing. I haven't even tried the salad yet, but if there's one recipe that you needed to try because you were just really, really skeptical about it, this is it. Zoodles. Last one, the fall harvest salad is too pretty. Do you like the rose? Okay, I'm just gonna get a piece of everything. So a little cranberry, apple, butternut squash. Oh, the goat cheese. Oh, the goat cheese, yeah. Pecan, pecan or pecan? I have no clue. A little bit of turkey bacon and butter lettuce. Here we go. Mmm! Mmm! Mmm-hmm. This tastes like luxury in a bowl. Like that goat cheese with the cranberries and the bacon and the butternut squash oh, look, with the crunch from the apple and it all holds together with the butter lettuce. Just that slight crisp sweetness of the butter lettuce. I don't even know what to say. This is perfection. I could even eat this without that gorgonzola dressing that I put on top because it is so flavorful. If you make this for your friends, they will literally die. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Also, let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite fall fashion accessory. Let me know and I will see you next time. Continue to train hard and eat clean and be creative while you're doing it. It doesn't have to be super boring. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye! Fork says bye! Bye! <laughs>